Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the latest image for Tinkerboard RetroPie and uh, this is managed to install on my Mixer SD as well as my Kingston uh, SD card too so let's boot her up and see what's been changed Check the volume's not too loud Hopefully we're on the right channel there we go. So I've currently got my Chinese card in there, and as you can see, we got a boot. And that is the boot for the new image. On both cards it seems to lag a little bit at the beginning with certain parts of that video. So let's get into what we have here. So we, do, we still have the background music, I think that's going to be implemented in the next update. We actually have desktop mode which I believe will take us into what you can see there, um, a complete desktop for the Tinkerboard which is pretty damn sweet. We have Cody available to us and I think this does work. Let's let's boot up Cody and see what happens shall we? So if we go into it it'll tell us a bit about it on the right hand side of the screen and it's got one rating of five stars and it was last played eight days ago on this image. Uh, let's, let's see what happens if we launch Now I don't have anything installed on this, this is just, wow that was that was pretty damn quick. So it seems once you get in here, uh, my controller actually will not work at all. So that's something to bear in mind. But my keyboard, um, uh, my keyboard works, although, yeah, my mouse works as well, so that's pretty damn cool. It's a shame that the controller support isn't quite there yet, but it makes sense, if I'm honest. So if we exit this, we'll see if it takes us back to... RetroPie or whether, yeah, it does. So Love is now implemented with the latest update, and there is a game on here, which I would play. Let's see if it works. I'll turn it down just in case the the sound is copyrighted. Right. Okay. So no, Love does not work yet. And unfortunately, it seems that uh, once you enter that, we have to press escape to get out of it, I think. Yeah, that's alright. So love doesn't work, but Cody does work. Ports, we've obviously got desktop, we've got Doom, we've got Cody, we've got Mr. Boom, which is a Bomberman clone. We've got Quake, Zelda Zelda, um, Scum Virtual Machine is now, is now on there. The menu's just completely changed. I think Scum VM was on there before, but the menu's completely changed and it does look really quite crisp and unique. So that's basically what's changed. Hopefully when they um, update it they will include some sound in the background, as usual. But what we'll do now is, now is we'll uh, load some games on and see how we go. Hey guys, so after putting some games on here, I've put some Atari games uh, and realised that they don't actually work very well. I thought I'd show you the Wi-Fi setup, so if you go into RetroPie and we go down to Wi-Fi setup down here, which is right at the bottom, we can actually go to Edit a Connection or Activate a Connection. You're going to want to go to Activate a Connection and then click OK. This has to be done with the keyboard, this section in particular, and uh, then we can click on the connection and connect and as you can see there's a little activate button there and once you've connected you want to click activate and once it's activated there's a, a little star that appears next to it on the left and you can see it says deactivate and once that's done you're connected to the internet it's pretty damn simple
So there's also a new theme, as mentioned before, but we can still change the theme in the UI settings. And if we go back to um, carbon and then press back, we should get the old theme back here, which personally I quite like this theme more than I do the new theme. So as you can see we've got our emulators, uh, our game scraped, so we've got our game art and we've got our games to play. So I'm going to boot up the rally. Now for some reason I have the FPS in the bottom left hand corner and I'm not entirely sure why. Mupin64, I'm not even sure if it's what's running right now or if it's the the other emulator that's on here, but I think Mupin's a little bit funny. So this game was a little bit laggy before. I thought we'd try it now because Gary Wong's image isn't exactly the greatest. Uh, I remember me and my brother used to play this game all the time. So let's go and get the Ford Escort because that used to be my favourite car. And let's head on to whatever stage we can get. So yeah, the FPS is listed on the bottom left and I can't seem to change that. And it's V Rally still a little bit on the buggy side. In fact, it's, yeah, the input lag is pretty bad as well. So perhaps not a game you'd really want to play. Now if I press, let me just try something. If I press A you can, and select Movement 64, there's also IR Parallel 64. Um, Let's have a look. Select emulator for ROM. Okay. Uh, we can test GoldenEye out as well. I'll turn it on now because obviously the music here will be copyrighted. And yeah, I'm not sure why that FPS occurs in the bottom left. It's slightly annoying. Because even in the FPS settings on the main screen, it's switched off. So we can. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's select a mission. The dam. And um, we'll do easy. Why not? And we are loading. God, that is awful. That is one awful pixelation of an image. But. It's actually pretty slow. I'd say it's arguably slower. And the sound is glitched out to hell. I'll, I'll turn it down because obviously it's going to be copyrighted. But yeah, it's it's not running that great compared to what uh, it originally ran like when this image was first available. Um, it's certainly playable, but at 14 frames a second, it's really quite. Um, slow indeed. So yeah, this is the latest image. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you an insight as to what is actually on here. There's quite a bit on here. Quite a bit that's been changed. And um, there's quite a few 
differences that make it slightly better and maybe slightly worse than the previous image. Let me know what you think below if you've got this on your Tinkerboard and if you need any help with this. I will link the new image below as well, so if you want to check that out, please do. I shall see you very soon with another one. Cheers.